Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Genesis and I run this channel with my husband. So we really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, please feel free to take a look at all of our videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And for today's video, I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys some of my favorite products to help take care of my oral health. I know most of you guys don't know this, but I am a dental hygienist and I just wanted to share some products I use that have really helped keep my mouth clean and healthy. This video is not sponsored, but I do have a code for a product or a brand on here. Um, just in case you guys are interested in checking it out, I personally don't like to pay full price when I'm trying out something new. So I'll just um, add the code down on the bottom for you guys for the products if you guys are interested in checking them out after I uh, after you finish watching this video. So my oral hygiene routine is actually pretty simple. I only use about maybe four to five products just to help keep my mouth clean and healthy. Um, so one of those is of course my favorite electric toothbrush. I also um, floss and I use a tongue scraper as well. And then I'll also share um, my current favorite toothpaste. So let's go ahead and get started. So first product of course would be my favorite toothbrush, the Sonicare. Um, I've tried a lot of different <laughs> toothbrushes and this one's the one that I find works best for me. Uh, if you guys would like me to share a review of all the different toothbrushes I've tried, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and also like and subscribe. Um, so yes, I forgot what this model is, but it does have, um, let me see how many settings, like one, two, three, four, five, about five different settings and three uh, different intensity settings. Um, and out of all the toothbrushes I've used, I found that this one does a, the best job, honestly, for me at removing um, more of that plaque, more of that bacteria. And I also love that the toothbrush head is pretty small so it's really great to reach um, those hard to reach areas like those, the back of those very last teeth um so yeah i would definitely recommend this one um i tried using again other toothbrushes and i just felt like they weren't doing as great of a job as removing the plaque since i do tend to build up quite a bit of that soft bacteria that plaque and this one's the one that i find that i just do one go, those two minutes, and then I'm set. I don't have to ever go back and um, touch up some areas where I feel like I missed some of that bacteria. So definitely recommend the Sonicare. I'll um, maybe write down the information for this toothbrush. I know the Sonicare, it's hard to find like the perfect toothbrush just because there are so many um, models out there. I think this one might be like one of their newer models. We've had it for a few years. All right, and it's still working great. Um, I know there are some pretty expensive ones out there and the good thing is, is that you don't have to invest in the newest, most expensive model. There are some other models that still work great. You just want to make sure that it has at least a few different settings. I know there are some of the older models that have maybe only three settings instead of the five, um, which is a great toothbrush to start off with and it still does a great job at removing that bacteria. So the next product is my current favorite toothpaste, which is from the brand Boca. And what's great about this toothpaste is that it's vegan, cruelty-free, it's fluoride-free, no SLS, no parabens, no artificial flavors, and no endocrine disruptors. So like I mentioned, this is fluoride-free, but it does have nanohydroxyapatite. So what's great about nanohydroxyapatite is that it helps to mineralize and protect your teeth from cavities. So if you're looking for a more fluoride free option, this would be great. There's also another one that I really like. It's from the brand Risewell. So I would recommend to check those two out. If you are fluoride free, you still want to have something in your toothpaste to help remineralize and protect your teeth from cavities and I know hydroxyapatite is great for that. There's also, um, I think another brand that I haven't tried yet that I've been really wanting to try out and that's um, Bite. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but those are the toothpaste tablets. So I think it comes like in a little glass jar and I think it's a subscription as well. But if you want to be more envi environmentally friendly, I think it's a good way to just recycle. I think um, since it's glass, 
I think, I'm not sure, but I think since it's glass, you might be able to recycle that. And um, what's great is that, again, it doesn't come in like a tube like this. And I recently saw that they have a, um, I think now they have fluoride in their little tablets and they also have another option that has the hydroxyapatite, I believe. I know when they first came out, they didn't have any of those two ingredients. So I'm really interested in checking it and checking out the um, hydroxy appetite tablet. So if you guys have tried it, please let me know down below how you like them. Okay, so for the Boca, I do actually have a code with them. Um, so again, like I mentioned, I don't like <laughs> paying full price for things if I haven't tried it yet, just because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So I'll let you guys know, um, you can use, um, just check down in the description below and I'll include the code you could use at checkout if you're interested in trying out the Boca brand. Um, they do, what I like about them is that they do have several different flavors. So the one I'll be using today is just the um, mint toothpaste. What I like about it is that it's very subtle. Um, I have tried other toothpaste out there too that the mint flavors is too intense. I kind of, um, I don't know, it makes my mouth feel a little bit dry sometimes. So I really like that the toothpaste flavor is really subtle. I also got a sample of their lemon lavender toothpaste just because I wanted to try out the flavor. It's actually not bad. It tastes um, a little bit more lemony, but it's not the lemon flavor you would think. It's really subtle as well. So I really like that one. The other flavor that I really like, I think it's like the coconut. Coconut and something else. I forgot what it is, but that one's also really good. Yeah, so again, it has the um, nanohydroxy appetite, which um, hydroxy appetite is actually found in your body. So it's biocompatible. Um, so that's why it's like non-toxic. It's not harmful to your body. Definitely great for kids as well. Okay, so I would really recommend this one. And then from the Boca brand, I also have their um, Rasana tongue scraper. And so what's great about this is that it is stainless steel and it helps remove a lot of that bacteria from your tongue. So really important, if you're not um, tongue scraping, that can also really help. Um, again, with bad breath, it removes more of that bacteria from your tongue. There's also another brand, I believe it's called Panga, P-A-N-G-A, -A, I believe. And I think um, that's an Oregon-based brand, I believe. I think it was created by a hygienist here in Oregon. I'm not sure if it was Oregon, but it was created by a hygienist and that tongue scraper is, I believe, um, copper. So it's also really easy to clean. So that's what you want in a tongue scraper. And what's great about it is that these will last forever. So you don't have to throw it away and purchase a new one unless, of course, you break it or something like that. Um, and, and with tongue scraping, uh, you don't have to use a lot of pressure on it at all. Here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I haven't brushed my teeth since it's morning. I wanted to do this video first and then I'll go ahead and brush my teeth. So you might see a little film on my tongue. So when you use a tongue scraper, you wanna go towards the um, back of your tongue and you don't have to, again, you don't have to use um, a lot of pressure on it at all. You just slight pressure and then pull it all the way to the front of your tongue, towards the tip of your tongue. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Yep, and just like that. Okay, and I use the tongue scraper um, every night. So I don't really use it in the mornings unless I feel like maybe I wake up and I feel like some film on my tongue, but I'll usually, I'll usually use it at least um, once a day. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Brush in the morning and at nighttime for at least two minutes, tongue scrape at least um, once a day, and then also floss at least once a day. Okay, so now for my favorite floss now i've tried a lot of different flosses and this is the floss that actually got me as a dental hygienist to floss every single day and that is the coca floss so that's what it looks like i got their big um container but they normally come in like regular size um i guess floss container packages okay um unfortunately you can only find this um actually you yeah, also the Boca toothpaste and the Coco Floss, you can only find online. I know the Coco Floss, um, you can find it at some Target store. So maybe just at your local Target, maybe ask um, any other workers there if you can't find it. I think 
it took me a while to find it just because it it was in the um area where they have all the little samples i think at least that's where it was in my local target so really recommend cocoa floss what's great about it is that it is um, coated with coconut oil and coconut oil is antimicrobial so it does a great job at removing all of that bacteria in between your teeth and it is really important to floss at least once a day just because the floss removes the bacteria from in between your teeth where your toothbrush can't reach so definitely recommend this product is one of my favorites Okay, so that's it for all of the products that I incorporate into my everyday oral hygiene routine. So if you guys have any questions, please leave comments down below. Or if you guys would like me to make more dental related videos or any other products that I've um, seen out there. And if you have any recommendations that, you know, products that you really like, please also let me know. I'd be really interested in, in trying some of those out. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and you guys take care, go brush your teeth, go floss, go use your tongue scraper. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.